And so, Mike, uh, I feel like the the big ticker of the day this morning was in the news was Peloton, right? Yep. Ticker symbol P T O N. And the new storyline is that they're now going to be selling on Amazon. That's right. That's right. And I'm actually surprised they weren't doing this before. I mean, it well, seems... I, I'll tell you the answer is because Amazon's taking that clip off of every sale, right? <laughs> That's true. But, you know, you have to think about this. And this is business 101. It's better to have a, per, a, a small a portion of something than all of nothing, basically. So. With Peloton, with Peloton, they did do a great marketing campaign and they did get a lot of people interested. But here's the reality. It's exercise, right? And my my strong opinion about exercise is a person who goes to the gym regularly. A lot of people don't like going to the gym. <laughs> a lot of people don't like working out. So it's a great first step to get people to buy the equipment and then they become, you know, they're they're subscribing. But it's the subscribing part that I believe is the the Achilles heel of always of businesses like this. When people buy fitness equipment, it's like, you know, you got that bug in you like, yes, I need to get this thing. I want it. I'm, I'm going to start working out. You buy it. And then after maybe a week or two or a month, you just say, uh, I don't feel like doing this anymore. But they got their money. You bought it. Right. But the subscription, when you keep paying for it, while it is a great thing for people who are really committed to this. If a person's not, they're going to pay for a little bit and they're gone. So I'm not sure how Peloton is going to answer that problem. But if they're selling on Amazon, at least it does give them one major benefit. And that is they get more exposure. Um, they get more of these impulse, you know, impulse buyers that want to get their Peloton bike and, you know, they just want to exercise. But then we'll see. So I, I think the market is correct in their assert, assumption that this will actually be a benefit. Uh, to Peloton. Um, there are definitely people who don't know who Peloton is. Um, you know, it is it's a big company, but there are a lot of people who may not be fitness focused, so they never heard of the place. Um, and they just say, hey, I want to buy a exercise bike and say, oh, that one looks cool. And it says, oh, it actually has access to live trainers and everything. And it sounds cool. So maybe you just buy it on Amazon. So there, there are plenty of brands on Amazon that I would never have knew existed except they were on Amazon, right? You know, I was just looking for a t-shirt or something or a hat. And it's like, oh, this there's this brand that makes these things. So there really is a benefit of being in a major marketplace like Amazon, where people are regularly going to look for things. So perhaps this will be a more cost-effective way for them to build their brand awareness and brand loyalty, but we will see um also with amazon since they have all sorts of deals and if you shop there you get benefits here and there it does actually make it more attractive to buy through the uh, through amazon because like with loyalty programs and things like that i don't know too much about peloton's business uh, on that end but as far as it goes you know i found that when you sell a product on a a uh, venue in a venue where there's benefits that go outside of your brand I think people are more likely to be happy to purchase because maybe they like your product, but they're not thinking I'm going to be spending a lot more. It's just like when you go to, for example, if I go to an athletic store, right? Every time they ask me, hey, you want to sign up for our card to get blah, 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 blah. And I'm thinking like, how many cards do I really want to hold in my wallet? <laughs> Every time I go to this store, I bring their card. Then I go to this store, I bring that card. But if someone says, hey, you sign up for this one card, Amazon card called Amazon Prime, and you can actually get all these benefits from many other things. Yeah, it works really well. <laughs> I shop through Amazon Prime a lot. And I'm shopping brands that have nothing to do with Amazon. They just happen to be listed. So I do think that is a very effective model. I hope that Peloton does well off of this, but we'll see. But I think they'll get more exposure and also some side benefits from the fact that there's people who are just going to be on Amazon looking for deals. And they can connect Peloton to their grocery shopping or something. Who knows? Yeah. So, so given that macro look at the overall market, mm -hmm. what's, what's Madison telling us, right? The, the, okay. the, on that news, we're up 19%. So that's a, that's a very positive initial reaction, yep. but let's, let's get the breakdown of, you know, some of the other pieces that might not be, you know, sh shown 
when a market goes up or when a stock goes up almost 20% off of some news like this. Okay, good point. So let's look at the software. So basically, here's what Madison, the software is telling us. Firstly, this news just says what's happening, but we don't have any sales yet, right? It's not that we have any revenues yet. So until that revenue comes in, everything is up in the air. So the market's responding to the expectation, but until some actual numbers come in, I don't think anyone's going to change their forecast yet. All right, so the software is telling us that as far as technicals are concerned, we would consider this neutral. Now this move today will, will gradually push us into positive territory, but the software will not automatically count the strength of today's move as being indicative of what to expect next. Until we see a consistent move up after this, we'll still see neutral on the technicals. Now, as far as the inner circle is concerned, we basically do have some buyers today, which are going to push the price up, which we've already seen. Um, but overall, we haven't seen, except for today, a strong amount of buying pressure. Uh, as far as institutions are concerned, so far, they've mostly recently been selling Peloton, not buying it. This news may change that, but as of right now, we have to wait and see if any buyers, institutional buyers, start to step in and follow along with this. Uh, when we look at the valuation, the valuation for the stock is actually not bad because it's all in the basement right now because they've been pushed down so much in price. So relatively speaking, Peloton was super expensive in the past. Let me just show you guys this long-term chart. So you can clearly see this was the... Uh, the 2020 into early 2021, uh, 2021 run, which, of course, pushed Peloton way into high prices. And then now we're basically only a small fraction of that price. So relatively relative to the earnings and the results that we've seen so far, uh, Peloton doesn't look so bad, um, you know, as as stock. But at the same time, um, we still have to wait and see where the new numbers come in fundamentally the company is neutral um their growth is fairly stagnant but we do have some pretty strong upside projections and this is where i would pay attention um eleven dollars is the projected low target with this new amazon deal i can't see how that would hurt them in other words they can still sell their products on their own site but this just gives them another avenue so i do think that's an accurate read that they should be at a floor now. We're currently trading about $2.25 above that floor. The median target is $26, which will equal 100% gain. The highest target is 89. That's a little high, but you never know. It may, it may actually hit there. Looking at the earnings picture, we can see that they have been improving. We were seeing their earnings slump very dramatically going into 2021. But as of December of 2021, uh, at least the reported earnings for that date, uh, that quarter, we now are seeing an improvement. We're actually seeing the earnings get better. I can't see how Amazon's deal would not improve this picture of earnings. So we can reasonably expect, uh, here's a yearly basis, we can reasonably expect that we're going to see strong improvement. So basically 2022 so far for Peloton has been horrible. They really lost a lot of money um, between June of, 2021 and June of 2022. That's what this is showing. But the projection is that things are going to improve very dramatically uh, in 2023. So I think this new deal will help. Um, but as it stands right now, revenue-wise, they have flattened out. They've been losing net income. But I do think that there's a good chance for improvement. So my recommendation on this would be this is actually worth taking a, a, taking a risk on. Um, at the current price point, okay? So it's not unreasonable, in my opinion, to take a stab at that. I wouldn't put a large amount of money into this, but I would say this is a reasonable bet that if it doesn't work, most likely you're going to stay near the price we are now. But if it does work, there's a lot of potential upside. 